anytime? Okay, Jamie, three, two, one. You're watching the Weather Network. What a beautiful day today, sunshine. That means today's air quality is good. And this is the Toronto Air Quality Health Index. It measures three today. It means the air quality is good. It's a great day to do your activities outdoors. Remember, be air aware and check the Air Quality Health Index online and here on the Weather Network. Take a deep breath. Now let it go. It's a natural reflex that happens from the day we're born and continues for the remainder of our lives. But how do we measure the quality of what we inhale and its effects on our life? Every morning, all day long, and evening too, you can check your local forecast on air, and you're gonna see something called the Air Quality Health Index. Well, very simply, it's a tool that measures harmful substances in the air and the health risks connected to them on a 10-point scale. One to three is low risk, Four to six is considered moderate risk, and seven to ten, well, fitness fans should even think about rescheduling activities outdoors and exercise indoors instead. The process of tracking your air is complicated, but the result is simple. We track three air pollutants, nitrogen dioxide, particulate matter, and ground level ozone in the atmosphere. These are the major pollutants which pose real health hazards. We track them every hour, provide real-time data, and even a forecast to help you plan your outdoor activities. I'm coaching a group of Olympic hopefuls, and air quality is a major concern when they're training. Athletes, even just weekend athletes, put their health at risk when the air is less than optimal because they're breathing deeply and for long periods of time. Fortunately, there's lots of times when the index reading is lower, so I can take advantage of those times to put my training in. By using the Air Quality Health Index forecast, I can tell if tomorrow is a good day for training or not. Very young children are particularly vulnerable. We monitor the Air Quality Health Index every day and when necessary, every hour to determine whether some children should remain indoor during outdoor playtime. It's not just a colorful pinwheel. It's a valuable resource to support children's health and well-being. People with health conditions, and that could be asthma, heart disease, or youngsters or seniors with respiratory issues, they should be especially mindful of air quality. When the reading is low risk, most of us can go outside and have no problems at all. But even an air quality health index reading of, say, four, may trigger coughing or throat irritation in those most at risk. You might think the sky's blue, the air is clear, so hey, I'm good to go. But it's not that simple. What you can't see can hurt you. You need to be air aware. Watch for the index on TV or check it out online. Now you'll know the best times that you can exercise outdoors or perhaps take your activities indoors or even curtail them. Together, we can all breathe easier when we're air aware.